All right, it's day 50. So I'm in Harper's Ferry. I am about a hair's breadth away from getting drenched. I'm leaving Harper's Ferry. I just sent home my rain jacket. I bought a poncho uh, for a dollar for just for emergencies. And it seems like every time I send stuff home, then I get tested. So I send my uh, warm winter gear home, it's cold. I send my rain jacket home, and I've got a thunderstorm coming. Anyways, I'm in Harbors Ferry. It's pretty cool. You can see all these old buildings um, and uh, things like that. This is the lower city. I gotta admit, uh, the, the old stuff is really cool. The city itself is a huge disappointment. You worked up to this Harpers Ferry, Harpers Ferry, Harpers Ferry. You gotta get the Harpers Ferry, it's cool. It's a terrible resupply spot. I had to walk a mile. I've, I've walked four or five miles in the city to get a resupply. And the only resupply spot was 7-Eleven, a gas station. There's no Dollar General, there's no, it's just a small town. It is a tourist spot. There's all kinds of great tourist spots. The outfitter, the lady, is awesome. She's got some resupply stuff, some like dinners and some snacks. But nothing like, you don't really want to resupply an outfitter because it's going to be more expensive, but the outfitter is good. So a couple of the good points, uh, my pack now is the dry weight is 13 and a half ounces, or 13 and a half pounds, not ounces. 13 pounds, five ounces, there. So that's pretty good. Um, basically I'm carrying less than 20 pounds with a full load. So I got my pack done to that. Like I said, I sent home my rain gear. I bounce, I'm bouncing forward my clothes. So my next clean clothes picks will be when I get to the city. I'll get the decanon, I'll get my clothes, I'll do my laundry. And then I'll have my clean clothes on while I'm doing my laundry. Then I'll send my clean clothes forward. So I lost some weight that way. Right now I'm uh, going over, not the Potomac, but some other river that meets the Potomac. This is on, uh, what I'm hoping is the AT. I'm pretty certain it is. Anyways, if it's not, I guess I'll turn around and walk back. But since I'm already walking this way, I'll just continue walking. Um, it's pretty cool. A pretty cool, like, historic place. There's the Thomas Jefferson's Rock. That was pretty neat just to know that this is where Thomas Jefferson stood. There's a lot of history in this town. So what I leave you with is the town is, is a neat tourist spot. A really neat tourist spot. It's a terrible, terrible resupply. If you're on the AT and you're expecting a resupply, go to the next town. If you want to see something cool, like see some old, cool old stuff, this is a good town. I mean, it, it, it's .6 miles through the hostel from town. And the, the ATC Conservancy is really neat. It's really cool. I was number 259, no, 249 on the hikers. And uh, that was pretty cool just to be number 249 through, hopefully. Um, I'll be a higher number by the time I get done. I mean, like I said, my plan is to do 15, 30 mile days um, in this next bit, which might get changed a little bit. I'm going to try to do a little bit higher mileage. Basically, I'm going to try to do 450 miles in 15 days. And if it works out to be 15, 30 is great. If it works out to be uh, a couple of 25s or whatever, then great too. But the goal is 15 miles. I mean, 450 miles in 15 days. The rain's coming. You can see it over there. It's menacing. The river's here. The town is back there. I'm crossing the bridge. I hope you're having a great day. I'm probably gonna be wet in the next hour, and I'm having a great day. I might not be in the next hour, but that's all right. Tomorrow's a new day. Anyway, I hope you're having a good one, and I'll talk to you later.